In today's lesson, we're looking at commission. Now, commission is a method of payment mainly used for salespeople, and it's paid calculated as a percentage of the values of goods sold. So, um, sometimes a salesperson is also paid a small wage, which is called a retainer. That means they don't actually have to make any sales for them to receive that payment, um, and which then they can earn commission on top of that. And sometimes a commission can be broken up into a couple of different components. Uh, we won't look at any of those today, but just to be aware that people might earn commission uh, of say 5% up to the value of $1,000 that they might sell and then everything above that they might earn 7%. So let's have a bit of a look at the example what we're going to deal with today. And we've got um, Gemma who's a car salesperson. And she gets paid $350 a week plus she gets a commission of 8%. So how much does Gemma get paid per week if she doesn't make any sales? Well, for her, she's going to get paid $350. If we remember from our introduction there, that's what we call the retainer. Now the next part of this question is we're asked to find how much does she earn when she contributes $5,000 worth of profit. So we need to remember that the commission is 8%. So what we need to do is find 8% of $5,000. So we've got the, there's a couple of different ways we can do this, but we've got $5,000 and we multiply that by the 8% over 100, or if we prefer we can write that as a decimal and we know that 8% is 0 0.08. And then we can put that into the calculator. So 5,000 times by 0 0.08, oh sorry that's 500, so 5. 5,000 times by 0 0.08. So 8% 8 of 5,000 is $400. The one thing that we do need to be careful of here is that we're actually asked that how much does she earn in a week. So the one thing we do have to then factor in is the fact that this $400 needs to be added to the 350. So for this $5,000 of profit, it would be the 400 plus 350. So she's going to earn $750. Okay, so we've got a second example here. Let's have a look at this one. Okay, this is an example of where the commission might be paid at different rates depending upon the amount of profit that the employee returns. So if we've got a real estate agent and they receive 2% commission for up to the first $300,000. So 2% up to $300,000. And then they receive a 3% for the rest of it. So in a particular example here, we've got a property that sold for $380,000. So the first thing we're going to do is we've got the $300,000. And we're going to find 2% of that. So we multiply point. 0 0.02, but we've also got a factor in, we've only dealt with 300,000, so we're going to have $80,000 left. So we're then going to have to find the $80,000 3% of. So let's just deal with those separately to start with. We've got 300,000 multiplied by 0 0.02, so that's $6,000. So in essence, this real estate agent has earned $6,000 for a property up to the value of $300. But we also then need to work out what the 3% commission on the $80,000 extra that they've earned. So $80,000 multiplied by 0 0.03. So that's $2,400. So we now need to take both totals and multiply them, to, uh, add them together, sorry. So the total commission is $8,400.